breast aesthetic surgery, session 17, uh, Symmastia. Uh, Symmastia is a rare condition when both breast spaces get confluent with no intermammary sulcus or cleavage. The condition is described in many names, including uh, Synmastia, uh, Uniloop breasts, kissing breast implants. Uh, Synmastia can be congenital, which is very, very rare conditions, and the reason actually is unknown. Uh, the more common is the acquired, uh, usually following breast augmentation. Uh, following breast augmentation, the skin overlying the sternum detaches allowing a communicating uh, uh, post pockets and the medial uh, displacement of post breast implants. Uh, therefore, they sometimes describing it as kissing uh, breast implants. To understand why sin master occurs, we have uh, first to understand the anatomy of the midline of the anterior thorax or what is named intermammary sulcus or cleavage. In other words, we have to understand why the skin is adherent to sternum at the intermammary sulcus. From deeper to superficial, the pectoralis major has two uh, origins, uh, or two heads of origin, uh, the clavicular and the sternal costal heads. Uh, the deep pectoral fascia uh, layer overlying the pectoralis majors. Actually, this deep pectoral fascia has two layers, deep and superficial. Uh, as both layers are attached to the uh, deep layer of the superficial fascia of the breast and the copper ligaments, which uh, causes the attachment of the breast periphery to the chest wall. Okay, at the lateral border of the sternum at both sides, all the deep and superficial fascia are firmly attached to the skin of the medial breast and insert with uh, the muscle origin at the sternal borders make a, f a, a very firm insertion. All the structures, the superficial and the deep pectoral fascia with the tendon of the pectoralis major at the lateral sternal border. This musculofacial cutaneous attachments create the breast cleavage of both sides. Actually, the deep pectoral fascia, as we said, has uh, two layers. The deep one ends at the sternal border uh, within the uh, fibrous uh, origin of the pectoralis muscle, while the superficial layer of the pectoral fascia continues over the sternal bone uh, and its preosteum to attach with the contralateral superficial fascia. This fascia layer is attached firmly by fibrous tissue condensation to the overlying preosteum and as well the overlying deep dermis of the midline skin. <clears throat> Actually, this anatomical structure creates the midline intermammary sulcus and cleavage. And the uh, disturbance of this anatomical uh, attachment uh, actually results in synmastia. Following breast augmentation, synmastia has reasons to occur. Um, the first reason is uh, the over dissections medially toward the sternum or the midline. In uh, a previous video uh, of a breast augmentation, we put these pictures and uh, which uh, uh, we show with the uh, uh, red dots, which is about one and a half centimeter from the midline of the thorax. And we said that we don't dissect beyond this uh, 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 red uh, dots or these landmarks uh, as to avoid the occurrence of syndactyl. Uh, some ladies desire to have a deep and narrow intermammary cleavage when performing breast augmentation. In other words, the, the augmented breast, they want the augmented breast kit closer to each other. Therefore, the surgeon dissects more medially to achieve this goal. Actually, this is the first reason. The second reason is the excessive use of diathermy in dissections of pockets. And actually, diathermy creates a type of thermal injuries, the effect of which may continue postoperatively, resulting in detaching the um, 
skin of, from the stern. The third reason is the insertion of a relatively bigger implant within uh, limited pockets, which acts as dissector to get a space. One or uh, a combination of more than one reason can result in synmastia. Management of synmastia, conservative management by press separators using special product actually doesn't cure the conditions. Um, actually, it is a temporary solution or camouflage uh, it doesn't make any uh, improvement in, in such case. The surgical management of synmastia is to restore the attachment of the skin to the underlying sternum. Under general anesthesia, the implant is delivered out and with fiber optic retractors and through inframammary wound, a long needle holder is used to have one tight stitch. It's a very important stitch in the midline. One tight stitches from the dermis underneath the midline skin and the tuckle deeply into the preostium of the stern, as shown in the uh, picture. Then using the same way, three stitches are taken from the uh, dermis to the pectoral fascia, in a way creating uh, a medial fold of uh, cleavage. These three stitches are taken on both sides. Uh, then after the uh, breast separator uh, bra is worn for a couple of weeks. Uh, if the mastia occurs while the implants are inserted uh, in a submuscular plane, this means complete or partial tear or detachment of the pectoralis fibers or tendons from the sternal margins. And in this case, the implants are delivered out and the um, um, Muscle tendons are lead sutures to the ostium of the sternum by non absorbable suture, permanent suture. The stitches of the cleavage are taken the same way we mentioned. Um, the implant is reinserted in a subglandular space. It's important to change uh, the, uh, the plane of the implant. Uh, the suture material used for three-point cleavage can be either absorbable or not absorbable. Personally, I had a couple of cases in my entire career and I, use, I used BDS. Finally, if you see that the implant, uh, the inserted implant is bigger relative to the uh, new pockets, you may need to change it into a smaller one. Thank you.